Welcome back everybody. This will be the final video for our learning experience with this house, I think. Um, anything after this will be bonus, so you don't have to go beyond this video, but if you want, if I do make anything, it will be additional. Now I did make the garage, I basically just made some walls, super simple. The only thing that's truly new on this is the garage door and these lights. Everything else I actually copied. I copied the siding over and when you see any generic model like this, I'm gonna go ahead and say edit. You have what's called pick host. So basically I copied this wall. I just copied it over and then it sat there. It sat like on its side. I'm, I'll just show you right now. Oops, let's see. So like this, I hit copy and I just hit paste. You can't paste it anywhere else. It's still on that uh, wall or surface or whatever wall it was on to begin with. And then what you can do is click on it and say, all right, new host. Now, where do I want this to be? And you can see how it's all over the place. So that's basically what I did for all these generic models. I'm gonna exit out of there. I did make some lights, uh, just like we did in the inside. They're just wall lights, because I wanna do some night renders. Uh, if possible. Uh, we did landscaping, or I did landscaping, and that is part of the grade, so please go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. Uh, I recommend doing this in 3D, and what you're gonna do is go up to Architecture tab, go to Component, click, click Component so you get this screen, and then you're gonna load Family. In the Preset Family, you wanna go into Planting, and so these are the these are the big families, and then each one of these has multiple trees inside of it. So whatever um, theme you're going for, location, climate, you know, you have some really good choices that Revit provides. So I just highlight them all and click open. And then, for instance, you can see like underneath your conifers, you can see all these different ones, and it's nice to give you the heights. So. Now, what they don't give you is how full the tree is. So some of these look like, oh my goodness, it's gonna black out everything. Some of them are very sparse. And when you render it, you can see right through them, which is why I have so much going on here. Because I'm trying to really um, merge the edge of my site with my background image. And that is the next thing. So uh, before we go on to that, so you can just click and Revit 2020, and this did not do it in the old one, will actually follow your uh, site. You can see I'm way up like five feet and that actually follows that. Now one thing you can do, um, make sure you have a work plane on um, like one of the, the flat levels, so like top of footing, perfect. That'll work. And then you can rotate these. And I recommend rotating a couple, especially in the front view, or you'll actually see a pattern because it'll be the same image at the same angle um, being rendered. So to do that, just simply go to your top view. You've got to set that work plane and you can see the shape that it comes with and just click the rotate and then you can rotate it. But it has to have, you have to uh, make sure that your work plane is set first. So you can see all these, I didn't rotate any of these, but these are far enough in the back that it's not gonna matter, I hope. <laughs> so anyway, you can do a much better job. I just put some grasses and some uh, different trees on the outside. So you really just need to practice with this and play around with it and do some renders and then However it looks, it, you know, it's what you want it to look like. I'm not a landscape architect, so we're not going to get into that, anything like that. It just it looks very sparse if you just render it without anything. And I do have my front of view house that I've already rendered. You can see right here. Here it is. And this is what I mean by these have been rotated. So you can see how they don't look exactly the same. Whereas these... Actually, there's a tree right here, but this one and this one have not, and neither have these. And you can actually see the pattern of these two trees repeating themselves. So, 
highly recommend it. Um, let's look at this image. Now, how did I get this back here? So when we render, you make sure you get the view all set and nice, and you're gonna come down here to show render dialog. When you have this on, I recommend high for your last things, but you can do draft, and then background right here. So background image, and here's my image, and it's off of the SketchUp texture. I'm gonna put it in the outbox if you want it. It, you know, it doesn't, it's not that great, but just something easy. And then you can move this up and down and side to side and you can do some other things with it if you don't like it what we're trying to do is get this to be seamlessly into the background so we shouldn't see this huge jump from whatever you're using on the texture of your grass to the background of your grass so i'm going to go ahead and just render this on draft just so you can see it because i'm going to render this probably on best eventually once I get it going here, oh, I also made this little overhang for the door, which is just a generic model, some rafters, and yeah. I'm not sure why this is taking forever. Usually it's pretty fast. I did change the material. So this is what you're going to see when you do draft. And that's, you know, it doesn't look good. But it gives you an idea of what things are doing and how they're going to show up, which is exactly what we want. So you can play around with it. Uh, one other thing before we go on to some lighting, these things, these bushes for some reason, and I've noticed this ever since Revit has ever been in my use, but watch this. If I actually put the elevation to zero, they're floating, first of all. So then, if you put it to negative one, actually there's an offset from host. I don't know why there's a foot there, but okay, let's say, look at that. They're definitely on the ground. They're perfectly on the ground. But watch what happens if we were under this. I'm gonna pause it so you don't have to watch this. Okay, so I paused it and you can see they're floating. They're floating in the air. And I never understood that and I don't know, I haven't really looked into it because there's such a simple fix to it, but you can see that they are indeed floating. So you can exit out of the render dialog, I just did, and uh, to fix this, you know, each plant is a little bit different, so I'm not really sure, you know, I can't just say, hey, make it, whatever, you gotta play around with it. And you can see up here that I put mine as negative two when I did that, it just keeps changing this from the host, which is fine, because it's it's whatever. But it's it was already above if we saw it to begin with, because it was floating. So now we have this additional little information here. But negative two, negative one, and this seems to work. You can see they're definitely in the ground, which is so bizarre to me. But when we do render it, and I'll render it one more time. And I'll pause it so you don't have to watch the load. And there's our render, and you can see our bushes are now, our grasses are now uh, looking pretty good. So that's just a standard render, again, just to show you some things. You don't have to do the image. I always recommend it. I strongly recommend just using an image from online. And again, um, the SketchUp Texture Club has a bunch of really nice ones that you can use uh, or you can use the preset ones uh, the problem with the preset ones is you'll see your site end unless you just cloud it with um, plants like I did this one has an actual background so it actually there's a little bit of a transition there you can't really see I'm gonna render these all super nice I hope and put these in the outbox so you guys can see them download look at them what have you all right so the last thing I want to do is I'm gonna put this on draft again but this time what I'm gonna do is do exterior artificial only it's gonna be super dark but I want to see if these lights come into play. So let's go ahead and I'll render this. 
and we can see how this goes. All right, so you can see my render. I need to fix my lights. Uh, I have the wrong type of light on there. You can see uh, how that turned out. But here's another thing. With this, the image background is just gonna be the image background. So you can actually see my background and that looks ridiculous. So we have to find an actual sunset or something along those lines to actually get this to show up right and I don't want to do that so uh, let's go ahead I'm just gonna pause the video real quick I'm gonna tweak something actually no I should probably show you this so images I'm just gonna do I get cloudy let's do cloudy and now I'm going to render it and let's see what we get and I'll pause it so you don't have to watch the loading okay so you can see Look at that, the only light we're getting is from all the artificial lights, whether exterior or interior, and you can see, it looks pretty cool, I guess, <laughs> but it's so dark, it's like as if there's no light at all, no moonlight or anything, one of those nights where it's just super, super dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix this, and I think I'm gonna I decided I'm going to try to find a background that might work with this as well. Okay, so I found an image. It's kind of stretched, and uh, it looks, I mean, it looks pretty good. We have uh, now, so we have some moonlight. However, the image is a silhouette, so none of the colors are going to come through. But you know, would we be able to see any of this? Probably not. Not with a sky like this. So. Again, to do this, you just simply go to customize image and here it is, I moved it around and I'm gonna put all these images in the outbox. So now what I really wanna show you, the last uh, render, I'm gonna fix my lights before I show you this. My last render, I wanna show you uh, a sunset because then we're gonna actually change the time of day. All right, so that'll be in just a second. Alrighty, so this is the last uh, render I wanted to show you. I will put this in the outbox. So this is a sunset setting and, or put in the shirt folder, sorry. And I also fixed the lights, but, so we're going from full sun to complete darkness to something in between. And to do that, you wanna click on your render box and you can see this is this was on best but it was taking way too long so I stopped it so this isn't really accurate but come down here put on exterior sun and artificial which I don't really understand what the difference is between interior and exterior because the interior lights were still on even with exterior I think exterior just does everything and interior only does interior I could be completely wrong on that all right now sun setting this is what we want to do you want to click here and uh, you you are probably on like s one of these you can do single day multi day or lighting it was probably on lighting what we want to do is put this right here to still and then what you can do is underneath your location you can actually set it to wherever you are so we're in Grand Rapids Michigan here and it'll be in Boston by default it's probably where the software developers are and you can just click the little home little marker thingy and just move it wherever you want. So if you live in Detroit or you live in Milwaukee or Chicago or in the middle of nowhere in Montana, you can put it there and actually have like the sun settings of what it's happening right now, which is new to me, but anyway. And put this back over in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where we are. Somewhere over here. In that area. Go ahead and click OK. And then here's your date. So whatever the date is should come up. And then the time. So this takes, you know, I started with eight o'clock and then went to seven and then I kept going down and down until I got something I liked. So right there, and then I don't think this really matters because we have a site, so I'm not really sure what this does, but I just left it exactly as it is. And again, so time, date, location, and then we're just doing a still shot. And that's called a solar study. So 
we have our lights, we have our background. Go ahead and hit render. This is what it looks like. So those are your last ones. I'm gonna put all three renders in the inbox. And then that's it. And anything else that we do after this, I'm just going to do for personal gain and improvement. But here's our house complete. And that's it.